Now let's move on to our continuing coverage of school board elections this morning. We're taking a closer look at the consolidated race for RPS sub district F. Now here, this, there's a map on your screen for reference. We're looking at sub district F on your screen. It's highlighted green over on the bottom right corner of your screen directly impacts Cherry Valley, Hillman and Rolling Green Elementary Schools. We hear from two candidates this morning, Juan Reyes and Kimberly Haley on the important changes they want to bring to the district. Our 13 WRX is Dylan Valencia joins us live from the Winnebago County Clerk's Office where doors will be opening very soon. Good morning, Dylan. These candidates are interested in issues that are kind of similar to the other RPS candidates you've already spoken to, but it seems that their approaches are a little different. Why so, Dylan? Manny, good morning. Happy Election Day. First off, it's finally here. Now, both of these candidates are looking to raise literacy levels, graduation rates, but the way they're doing it is unique, and that's specifically when it comes to their interest in parent transparency, but also helping the students, especially in these elementary schools, be more confident in their classrooms, which is why Kimberly Haley wants to continue a program that is currently at Cherry Valley Elementary School across the district. They are also allowed opportunities to be in leadership positions. So there is a program that I know that Cherry Valley Elementary School is working to have in place where students are given the opportunity to be, to be leaders, um, whether that's a leader for a day or for a week. But they're given that opportunity to lead in the libraries, in the classrooms, um, and in activities um, that the school has. Now, her opposing candidate, Juan Reyes, he wants more transparency between the school board members and students and family, and he really believes in an acronym called CPPA, which stands for Children, Parents, Process, and Accountability. He knows that he can change the graduation and literacy levels, but not until parents actually know who their board members are and also get involved. Let us be in, uh, transparent enough where they feel comfortable enough to come to us and say, as a school board member going, hey, I, I just can't do this, I, or my child's out of control, I can't do this. What can you help us with? We're not saying that we have to sit here and take care of the children, but let's help. But that's what we are. We're, we're supposed to be a community of one. And if we're not, and we're going to be polarizing each other, that's not going to work. Now, if you are, uh, if your children are in sub district F, it's especially important to hear what these candidates stand for and know who the candidates are across all races before you go out and vote today. And if you're curious about how these local consolidated elections are important and how they impact you, stay with us in the next half hour. We have a live interview with the Winnebago County Clerk right here on 13 News Today. In Rockford, I'm Dylan Valencia with 13 WREX.